guys and welcome back. So I thought that I would do a little bit of a video um, discussing the year that's just been. I can't believe it already. We're at the end of 2022. We're currently halfway through December. Christmas is very fast approaching and so is the end of the year. I thought I'd just do a video talking about what I've achieved and compared to the goals I set out originally back in January of this year. I'll leave a video linked up here somewhere. I don't know where I was um, basically setting up my goals for this year and I do also have a little list here which I'm going to go through and sort of see how I've done. This is also going to be an update for 2023 and what I've got planned in 2023 including handmade watercolours so if that is something you're interested in maybe hang on and we can get to that in a bit later. So first of all things I set out to do in 2022 this year so I set out to improve my portfolio and paint more. <laughs> Hello. I decided that I wanted to make more videos. I wanted to open an Etsy, Etsy store to open an Etsy store and sell some merch. Um, I wanted to grow my following on social media. I wanted to start taking commissions and I wanted to put more effort generally in social media. So looking back at that, I didn't quite manage to do all of those things. Um, so I think looking at the list, the ones I didn't do, it was probably about half of the list. <laughs> Sometimes that works out that way. I think I've realised I'm not a great goal person. I think I don't struggle sometimes to stay on track for goals. Um, but looking at this, and let's have a look through them. So, painting more. Um, I didn't really get around to painting more. I still had a very lot to do this year. Some things cropped up, some projects that I wasn't planning cropped up and a couple of other bits that kind of took me away from painting time. So I couldn't quite achieve that. Do more videos. Um, again, I kind of failed doing that again. There were quite a few projects this year that took my time away that aren't necessarily art related and they took my time up and I didn't quite have time to do a lot of goals including that. Open Etsy store. This is one that I actually managed to do. I did open Etsy store recently, I believe it was around October time. And I've also opened up a new website, so I'm going to show you a little script here, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if you have my old web address, please discard it. I'm now using a new website, and this is the one that I am now using. So yeah, I've opened a new website and a new web store, so that's great. I've got some merch on there, I've got some stickers, I've got some pins, postcards. I really recommend taking a look at it if you want some stationery. So next on my list, I've got to grow my following on social media. This one has been a bit difficult because social media has really gone downhill this year for a lot of people in general, the way that the algorithms are working and the way a lot of them are operating no longer benefit most of the user base. So Instagram has been on a slow decline. Um, my posts have not got much interaction in general and neither has most people. And as well, we've also had in the recent months, um, Twitter deciding to unalive itself. Um, since it was sold, so social media is very weird at the moment. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail in a moment. Um, commissions. Again, I didn't really start taking commissions because my portfolio wasn't quite there and I definitely need to work some more and do some more. So yeah, that was 2022. Um, a bit of a hit and miss, <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it. Some things went well, some things didn't. So what have I been doing this year then? Um, so to start off with from me, I was taking a break from selling my handmade watercolour paints to focus on more projects. Unfortunately it didn't quite go to plan, I still ended up making quite a lot of watercolour paints, um, including because I had dot cards to do for Patreons, I wanted to keep my Patreon where I was going, so I did a lot for Patreon, and I also made a lot of paints in general ready for when I do start selling again, so that didn't quite go to plan, um, unfortunately. And as well with opening my new website, that took a bit of time away designing, building and doing that. It took a couple of weeks to do, so that took up a bit of time as well. This year as well, back in September, I started going to college again in the evenings. A couple of evenings a week I've been doing that just to improve my day job career, basically. So I'm doing that qualification that is set to finish next summer. So that's, we're nearly halfway through, so it's um, getting there. Um, as well, just doing general bits and pieces, um, some projects came up and some things took longer than I planned, so that's kind of where my time went this year, really. 
So I just want to talk briefly about social media and the platforms that I'm using, and my username on those as well. Um, so to start off with, my username is changing across platforms, and yeah, keep an eye out for this over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be changing it. Essentially, I'm trying to move away from the pen holder art tag because, you know, it was a tag that I set up five or six years ago when I first started YouTube, it was a hobby, and now it's turned to something very professional, and I want a more professional name, so I'm going to go by my more normal name, <laughs> so do keep an eye out. I'm going to try and do it so that it is the same across all platforms, so that you can find me on all platforms under the same name, just to avoid confusion. Platforms I'm using as well are changing a little bit. I'm still going to be on YouTube and Instagram, so they're still going to be going strong. I am now changing my my streaming platform. Instead of streaming via YouTube, I'm now streaming via Twitch. I will leave that link down as well. All the links I'm going to mention are going to be either in the description bar or along here, the top here, depending on where they are. And I'll try and put like a little thing on the screen for you to look at as well. But yeah, I'm now streaming on Twitch. So my streaming days currently are Sundays. At the moment it's 2pm UK time and Tuesdays 7pm UK time. If that helps anybody, if anybody wants to come along, chill and join in the fun. I'll be doing things like painting, paint making and potentially maybe a little bit of gaming in the future. So if that's something you'd like to join in with, um, feel free to drop on. Twitter. I am delinking my Twitter from my pages. Um, I still have Twitter so if you still follow me on there or happen to find it, please feel free to do so if you want to, but I am disconnecting it from my professional pages because nobody really knows what's happened with it at the moment and I just really don't want the wild card, so I'm kind of not focusing my energy on that at the moment. So I am having a few new apps that I'm looking at, so I will be on Tumblr, what else will I be on? I'm also on Art of App, I think it's called, hold on, what's it called? I keep forgetting the name of it. I can find it in my many apps. Artful, that's what it's called, Artful. It's a little pink icon, I'm on there. I'm also on Hive, and I'm also on TikTok. Um, but if you're on the TikTok thing, we'll see how that one goes, but I'm gonna leave a link somewhere if you want to find me on them, and I'll leave a link to those. So yeah, a few new platforms, and a few new places. <laughs> so more changes that happened this year. I introduced a new Patreon tier. So I've got a new Patreon tier where you can get some stationery as well as some extra bits as well as the dot cards. So if you're interested in getting a little bit more for my Patreon, you can do. So I do offer a little bit more. Um, what else has it really changed? I think in terms of changes, there haven't been too many other changes this year. I think that's it. So I'm going to kind of talk about my plans for 2023. I'm not going to do a whole plan with me video and make a big list because quickly that doesn't really work. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of set a couple of main goals, maybe three or four goals I want to achieve in 2023 and sort of go from there. I am going to try and plug more time into my videos and make some more of those. Um, in terms of painting, I'm going to try and keep that one, move that one forward for 2023 and paint more. I decided I think that during my live streams I'm going to focus on painting. So any paintings I've got ongoing or anything like that, I'm going to do in my live streams just to make that time to paint because I do sometimes find it a struggle to find time to paint on top of everything else um, throughout the week. So I think that's what's going to happen with that. So handmade paint news now, I think that's what a lot of people have been looking for. So unfortunately we've had some very tough times here in the UK and it's put our economy in for the next two years. Um, up for a lot of big questions um, because I'm actually going to be moving forward my sale of handmade paints. My original plan was to start selling some in August of next year um, but because of things I'm going to move it forward I'm now going to try and sell in April May of next year roughly. Um, so yeah I will be selling handmade paints again which is really exciting, really scary and yeah <laughs> going to be interesting. Um, so with that as well, I'm going to be doing a lot of content related to that on my Patreon. So Patreons are going to have the chance over the next couple of months to start voting on colours that they want to see come back first. Because I've got a big um, list of colours and a big pool of colours I made. My dehydrator is fully stacked with handmade paints. So they're going to be taking votes and making decisions on what colours are going to be sold first and what the sales are going to start to look like. 
And as always, of course, my patrons will have the first news. Um, they will also have discounts. And I'm only allowing patrons moving forward to make um, to make pre-orders and reservations for pants as well. So that is some perks that they get. But yeah, that's it. Really, I just wanted to quick update on how this year's went, how this year's been, or how I felt it's gone. And also as well, what we can look forward to next year. And some of the things that you can expect as well from my pages and my channels. So yeah, please feel free to check me out on some of those new pages, start following me and start engaging in some content. I'd be really appreciative of that. And as well, I hope you enjoy the content that's going to be coming, all the painting, all the extra bits, and some handmade colour bits. So yeah, I'm wishing you all a happy holidays for those who celebrate. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Yule, whatever it is that you celebrate, or if you do. I hope you have a good time, and I wish you all a happy new year, and I will see you in 2023. Bye guys.